Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to add a asset pack to our game so we don't have to watch these weird roads anymore. So yeah, let's get started. First you want to go to the link in the description, which takes you to the artstation.com and to, to, to the this specific asset pack, which is actually free. You just have to log in and add to this to your library. There should be some kind of button that you have to click. And after that, you want to view it on your library. And here you can just download it. Okay. After that, you want to go to your project and you want to actually create a new folder to here. And this should be called like, models or something like that. Let's open it. And after that, you want to go to that low poly simple urban cd 3d as a pack you want to open it and go to the separate models and from here you want to select these all and you want to just move them to this folder inside unreal engine okay here here you want to keep the default settings and just press import all and after like 10, 10 to 15 seconds it should be done let's see Okay, now you get some errors, but you can just, oh, you can just close it. Okay, and as you can see, now we have all these assets on our game. Okay, so next thing, what we want to do is, we actually want to go away from this folder to the blueprints folder, and we want to, uh, we want to open our PP pay style. Okay, and we want to go to the viewport, and we want to actually change a few things here. First, we want to actually select our, actually, we want to delete these lines first, this one, and also this one. Okay, now we want to select our plane, and we want to change its scale to 40. And after that, we want to change its X location to 2000. Okay, now we want to click our arrow, which is our spawn point, and we want to change its X location to 4000. And after that, we want to select this spawn location. We want to change its, its X location to 4000 also. After that, we want to select this destroy collision, and we want to change its X location to 5000. Like that. Okay, now we can get to work. So, what we want to do next is, we actually, let's change this uh, Y scale to 10 also. Okay, now we can add a new static mesh here. We want to first click this plane and after that add a static mesh. And we want to call this road one, for example. Now from the static mesh, we want to search for a road and we should have this road one, road one here. Okay, now we want to make the scale, uh, X scale 1.02 and Y scale 8. And uh, yeah, then we want to rotate it 90 degrees Sorry, minus 90 degrees, okay, like this. And then we want to change its location to location to minus 40, okay. After that, we want to pre uh, keep the road one selected and press Control C, Control V, so we duplicate it. Then we want to press W key, so we can move this, and then we want to from here, we want to make this set the position grid snap value. We want to set it to 100. And after that, we want to move this next tile here. Then we want to duplicate this one more time. So Control C, Control V, and then we want to move this here. Control C, Control V. Let's move this to here. Control C, Control V, and let's move it to here. Okay. Now when we compile and save all. 
wait for it to save. Okay, now when we go back to the third person map and we go to play, you can see we have some real road here. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, one more thing we want to do here, or what we can do here, is... Or we actually don't have to do anything with this yet. But one thing that I noticed, now our lanes are not uh, on the right spot. So what we want to do, we want to go to our PP third person character. And on the third person character, what we want to do, Want to go to set lane location and here on the start on the select node we want to change this uh, option 0 to minus 265 and this option 2 to 265 positive like that compile and save now you can see it's working as we want it to work actually i'm pretty sure that minus 2 60 and uh, positive 260 that these are better values I'm not completely sure but yeah I think these values are better but you can obviously use whatever values you want but yeah so I think that was all for this video if you like what you saw please click the like button and subscribe for more and yeah I hope you have a great day and see you in the next one bye